What's going on guys, this is Jonathan here with Tech Fist Lunch and Dinner. I reviewed the Core i5 iMac and I also did the Core i7. So what this video is, it's actually a bunch of benchmarks put together. So I'm going to show you guys the performance differences uh, in depth between the two. And I also want to reiterate that I think it's definitely worth uh, the upgrade. And I'll tell you guys why at the end of this video. Now taking a look at these iMacs, the only difference is actually the CPU which will cost you $200 more to go from the i5 to the i7. Other than that, they share the same 2560 by 1440 display. You get a 1 terabyte hard drive which you can also upgrade to 2 terabytes or even add an SSD if you want. You have 4 gigs of RAM that comes stock with the iMac and this is expandable up to 16 gigabytes of memory. They also use the exact same video card, the ATI 5750. Now moving on to the CPU power, the Core i5 on the iMac comes in clocked at 2.8 gigahertz. Now when it moves up to a turbo boost during heavy applications such as Final Cut, After Effects, it jumps all the way up to 3.3 gigahertz. Now the i7 comes clocked at 2.93. This also goes up to 3.6 gigahertz using turbo boost. Now moving on to really the main reason why I think the i7 is worth the extra money is that the i5 doesn't feature hyper-threading. So they're both four cores, as you guys can see the four cores on the i5. But as we move on to the i7, it does have the four cores, but it has hyper-threading. So each core uh, has two threads. So the OS will actually see it as an eight core instead of the quad core. So that extra boost, that extra performance is really going to come in handy for video editing, rendering, Photoshop, After Effects. It's not going to make too much as far as difference as far as gaming goes, but the rendering uh, and overall speed performance, like I said, is definitely Definitely worth the money. Now moving on to the benchmarks, here is the Geekbench 64-bit benchmark for both computers. The Core i5 scored an 8042, while the Core i7 scored 10,714. So you guys can see there's actually a bit of a difference here. Now moving on to the next one, in Cinebench 11.5, the Core i7 scored 5.38, while the Core i5 scored 3.7. Like I mentioned before, they are the exact same graphics card, um, so in the Cinebench render test for the GPU, they scored relatively the same. Moving on to the handbrake benchmark, I got a 6 minute and 53 second export on a 23 minute Apple TV uh, H.264 rip for the i7 while the Core i5 exported that same clip in 8 minutes and 13 seconds. So nice little speed bump there, I think that's worth the money in my opinion. Now for screen flow, the Core i7 did a 1 minute 1080p H.264 export in 1 minute and 27 seconds while the uh, Core i5 did the same thing uh, in 1 minute and 55 seconds. Now moving on to iMovie benchmarks for a 1 minute 1080p uh, video import, the Core i7 did that in 23 seconds while the Core i5 did that in 31 seconds. And in the last benchmark of this video for iMovie we took a 1 minute HD 1080p clip, exported it down to 720 and H.264 format, the Core i7 took 1 minute and 57 seconds while the Core i5 took 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So 30 seconds may not seem like a lot but if you uh, Look in the big picture if you're doing a one hour clip and you save a lot of time importing and exporting. The more time you save, the more you're going to get done. Alright, so you guys can see from the benchmarks, it is a huge difference as far as the performance goes. The hyper threading, uh, in my opinion, alone is worth the extra 200 bucks. So if you guys were uh, kind of undecided, is it worth paying the extra 200 bucks for the i7? 100% yes, it is. Uh, so definitely, like I mentioned in my review, if you're going to be dropping this much money on the iMac, I definitely think that you should be spending uh, and getting the best that you can. So the i7 definitely, like I said, fits that bill. So I hope that cleared up some of the confusion. If you guys were wondering, is it worth the money? Um, as always, I appreciate you guys checking out my videos, commenting. If you guys haven't subscribed, uh, feel free to do so, and I'll catch you guys later. Jonathan here with Tech Fist Lunch and Dinner. I'm going to be Jonathan with TLD. Shit. A bunch of Vents. <clears throat>